hello everyone. It's been about a week since I got my wisdom teeth out, so my cheeks still look a little bit like a chipmunk, and there's still some bruising and discoloration in that area, but I wanted to just hop in and say hi. Since I did get my wisdom teeth out recently, I will be keeping my album review as concise as possible, but as always, you're welcome to sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapse of the lettering. So let's get right into it. This is now my fourth K-pop album lettering page, and it's been a lot of fun doing these mini album reviews alongside the lettering because I get to combine art and music, which are two of my favorite things. So I'm starting out this lettering page with writing the title of the album in the center with a sun behind it because the album cover features a sunset. I really like how the fonts are combined on the cover of this album. They use this very quick hand sort of script font for the title in combination with a serif font. A small detail that they included was in the word book where they replaced the two O's with an infinity sign. It's just a very good balance between a serif and script font in my opinion. This album is called The Book of Us Negentropy, Chaos Swallowed Up in Love. From what I've read, this is the conclusion to their The Book of Us series and negentropy is intended to combine the words negative and entropy. It is reverse entropy which means that things become more in order. In this doodle, I'll also be adding clouds around the page to give it the feeling of the sky and using a lot of yellows and oranges to resemble the sunset. So I guess a little bit of context about how I found Day 6. I think the first song that I heard by them was Zombie and I immediately loved the song but I didn't really look into their other music until one of my best friends got a little obsessed with them. She played a lot of their music that I ended up taking a liking to, and she also played a lot of their videos that allowed me to get to know the members through. Other than that, I actually had started following the eldest member of the band Jay on Twitch when he started streaming. He was always really funny, and I loved listening to his voice. In short, I wouldn't say I'm a diehard fan of Day6 yet because I've only started listening to them more recently, but what I've heard and seen so far, I've definitely enjoyed. There's also something about the band sound that is just so beautiful that isn't seen as much in the rest of the K-pop industry. If you don't know anything about Day6, they are a Korean band made up of five members, Sungjun, Jae, Youngkae, Wonpil, and Dolan. Sungjun is their leader and plays the rhythm guitar while Jae is the eldest and the lead guitarist. Then Youngkae plays bass, Wonpil plays keyboard, and their maknae Dolan plays drums. As this is a band, you will generally only hear the four older members sing, but from clips that I've seen, I think Dolan is absolutely adorable when he sings. Now for the tracklist, the first song on the album is called Every Day We Fight. I felt like they started this album out really strong with this song because it feels very empowering. To emphasize that feeling, I chose a very bold font to resemble that empowerment. I decided to color the inside of each of the letters a color of the sunset while drawing a pretty bold line and drop shadow around them. I like the chorus of this song a lot and I love the message because I think the perfect summary to this song is that love will win in the end. Also you know me, so you know that I really respect artists that are involved with writing their own music, so I love that Day6 writes their own lyrics and composes their own music. The next song is the title track of this album called You Make Me. When I first heard the song while watching the music video, I didn't know how I felt about it because the music video had me confused with what was going on, but the more I listen to the song, the more I like it. All of the members have really wonderful voices, but I think Jay's voice is probably my favorite, and I'm always surprised by the range that Young K has. Like in this song, his voice is still so powerful when he goes up in the high register. For this lettering, I felt that the song is very hopeful and the music video is very romantic, so I went with a simple but pretty script font. Healer is the next song and it is super upbeat and makes me happy when listening to it. The beat in this song is really cool because I think that it really drives the song all the way to the end. I read somewhere that this song has infectious energy and I think that that is the perfect description for this beat. It talks about how you can find love, comfort, and healing in someone, so I wanted to keep with that bubbly feeling of being in love and doodled this title in the bubble letter font. I also did a sunset gradient within each of the letters. You've seen me do this many times where I just add a darker color on top and then blend it downwards by going over it with the lighter color. Following up is a bit of a slower and chill song called Only. I really love the emphasis on the vocals in this song. 
Their voices all harmonize and blend together so perfectly that it gives me chills. It truly feels like someone is deeply and sincerely in love and it makes me want to sway back and forth while snapping my fingers along to the beat. I just envision one of those small stages with a single retro mic in the center of the stage with one of the members singing in the center and the rest of them standing right behind singing the harmonization and backup vocals. So I went with this more retro font with bold lines and then colored yellow in the center. Only is definitely in my list of favorite songs on this album. The next song is another one that makes me want to take out my phone flashlight and sway back and forth to, and is definitely a contender for my favorite song on the album. Above the Clouds feels very hopeful and seems like a promise for tomorrow. I read that Jay wrote this song for a friend with the wish, as the lyrics translate to, smile and don't get sick anymore, be happy above the clouds. Reading these lyrics definitely brings tears to my eyes because of how sincere they are, so I wanted to match that very light feeling with this simple cursive font. I also lettered it over the clouds on the left of this page, and I just think that it fit very perfectly together. Sometimes artists really put me in awe with their way with words. Maybe it's partially the fact that I'm not a very eloquent speaker, but I do think that the meaning of the lyrics is really beautiful. Taking a contrasting sound from the previous is the song One. It starts out with more of a synth beat in comparison to the other songs, so I went for this digital, more electronic looking font. I also thought it looked kind of cool writing it vertically. It's another one of those empowering songs as it contains lyrics that translate to, cause we are one, invincible that never breaks, one, unless we let go of our hands, we are invincible. I know that this song seems like it's talking more about overcoming any obstacle together with the help of others in the sense of love, but it kind of makes me feel like it's talking about them as a band as well. Like the fact that they became one as a group and can overcome anything together. Their vocals mix really well with this electronic beat too. The last song on this track list is called So Let's Love. It sounds exactly like the title and sounds like someone passionately in love. They kept this whole theme of love throughout the album, so I think that this song is a good conclusion to the album. It is very forward-looking about the desire to continue loving more in the future. Something that I think people always want is that fairy tale love story, so I wanted to choose a font filled with flourishes to complement the song. I decided to do this script font that had a lot of swirls. Their voices were amazing in this song too, and maybe it's the vocals or the emotions that they're able to portray, but it feels like the song is also left a little open-ended. I'm curious to see what Day6 will release next, and if it's a continuation to the storyline and theme that they built in this entire album. So I finished off this lettering page with some borders, flourishes, and details throughout the page. I used a combination of the fine liners, markers, gold, and white pens. I never really have a plan going in for these doodles, so I just kind of eyeball it to try to fill up some of the white space. Don't get me wrong, I love white space, but I also love doodling and felt like this page needed some more of that. There is this one little swirl underline that kind of looks like a mustache and I don't love it, but after I put it on the page, it was too late to go back, so I just tried to adjust it to match the page. I definitely love to just let my imagination go, and if I see something that I want to doodle, I'll just go for it. So you'll see a lot of flourishes around the page and some light drop shadows. I also had some smudging because I was a little impatient to try and erase before it was fully dry, but that is it. Overall, I really like this album and I'm happy with how this lettering page turned out. I think this is the only Day6 album that I've listened to in its entirety, so I'm happy that I enjoyed it. It's definitely hard to pick the songs I like best from this album, but I think if I had to pick, it'd be between Only, Above the Clouds, and Every Day We Fight. As the first Korean band that I found and listened to, Day6 is pretty cool, and I like how they are so chill when together. I know that Sungjin just enlisted in the military, but I'll definitely be following when they release new music in the future. But for now, I recommend checking out this album. Let me know which lettering is your favorite or if you listen to Day6 and have a favorite song by them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!